I was dreaming about Daniel. No, I could see his face. You just lie down. Lie no, down. no, lie I down. need to get out of here and look for him. Look, he needs me no. right now. We all need you. You take one step out of here, you're a dead man walking. I will go to the mat with you on this one. You're not going to go against what your father said, what the cardiologist warned this you about. This is no time to try to avoid stress, not until Daniel is safe. I know, but if you go charging out of here and you have another heart attack, then what does Daniel have to come home to? Haven't we been to enough funerals lately? <sighs> yes, we have. And I hate like hell that you have to lie here while your son is missing, but the rest of us... the rest of us have to do the heavy lifting for now. Then just tell me, how is this search being handled? You don't need to know the details. You just have to trust me and know that Dallas and the other uniforms are out there looking. You know that I blame myself for this. I know you do, and you should stop. No, I should have said no to Emily when she said... She wanted to take Daniel away for a couple of days. I had a weird feeling, and, and, I, and I should have said no. I know, but you were just trying to be fair. No, I was tired, and I was trying to avoid the drama that goes along with saying no to Emily. Well, there is no right answer when it comes to Emily. Does Emily still believe that Craig is behind this? Honey, I don't know. I don't know. But I talked to Craig, and I think he's clean this time. Well, then if he's not responsible, who is? I, why don't you just let me worry about that? Damn it, Marco. You tell me what the hell's going on, or I will check myself out of here tonight. Okay, Dallas likes this guy, Marcus Tull, for the grab. Um, apparently, he tried to strong-arm Emily into selling her shares of the intruder, but she shut him down. Is he clean? Well, uh, there's no priors, airtight alibi. Which means nothing. Have you picked him up yet? No, then not yet. What the hell are you wait, waiting for? Honey, I love you so much, and I hate like hell that you're lying here helpless with money <clears throat> out there, but now is not the time to tell me how to do my job. You're right, I'm sorry. Now, I was just about to check in with Dallas and see if he's made any progress. Why don't you get me a fresh glass of water while you're out there? Sure, of course I will. Anything else? Yeah. A newspaper, am I allowed? Yeah, arts and leisure only. Tom, 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 Tom! This will bring your heart rate down to where it should be and help you sleep. Yeah, well, I don't want to sleep. I want to be out looking. Hey, hey, hey. Did you honestly think you were going to check yourself out of here? I am Daniel's father. And you are my husband. And I plan on spending the rest of our long, long lives together. We've got a second chance here, baby. We can't waste it. I can't let anything happen to you again. Hey, Dallas, it's me. What? Oh, yeah, 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 he's much better. We're, we're gonna have to tie him down, though, if we don't get some news on Danny. What? When did that come in? Uh, I'll be right there. Be out of What's going on here? Someone fill me in. We got an anonymous 911. V&E in progress. We arrived, found Detective Snyder out cold. <sighs> Jeff, who did this to you? Simon Frazier. Really? He and Carly were on their way out of town when they decided to double back so she could say goodbye to the kids. I found out about it. I met him here. That's when he jumped me. Get you from behind, huh? Yeah, I never saw it coming. Anyone call an ambulance? No, it's not necessary. Marco, I, did, did you find him? Is, is my car outside a black SUV? No, I didn't see it on my way in. Unbelievable. Um, we'll take a look around. Yeah. So, uh, you should get an MRI. No, Marco, that's not necessary. Why not? 
Looks like he hit you pretty hard. He did. A guy like Simon with no police training take out a guy like you. Maybe he got lucky. Very lucky. So, Jack, you gonna stick to that story, huh? You got a problem with it? Just one. It's a lie. I think I'm lying. Yeah, you're too good of a cop to let Simon Fraser get the better of you. Well, apparently, not always. Or you're too good of a guy to enjoy payback. Carly sure did a number on you. You had the law on your side, but you just couldn't get yourself to lock her up. That's not how it happened, Margot. You still love Carly. I think this is your way of making sure that at least one of you is still happy. Margot? It's all right. I'm not going to tell anybody. We're going to let the Leonian government take care of Carly and Simon. Good. I'd like someone else to take a turn. How are you going to handle this, Jack? I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> How'd this happen? Carly and I, we were so close to having everything. And now, every move she makes takes her farther away from me. I know how you feel. It's only the beginning. Because now I gotta figure out how to live without her. You know, earlier tonight, I was trying to figure out the same thing. If Tom didn't make it, what was I gonna do? Thank God I didn't have to answer that question. Yeah, go on, Margo. For the kids, you have to. You make plans, you go to work, you keep your word, you put one foot in front of the other. I'll be okay. No. It's gonna be a long time before you're anywhere near okay, my friend.